Better Me TV is a project of Better Me Productions, a for-hire digital video production company in Gainesville, Florida. Whatever you're going through, you're not alone. You're always worthy of love. everyone, I'm Sammy Catan. I'm Brandon Telg. And I'm Chris Kano. And this is the second episode of Better Me TV. So if you tuned in last week, you saw that we were volunteering with We Are Neutral at Bonnaroo. So we made it back. We survived. And um, we had a really incredible experience there and came back to hear some awesome news about what We Are Neutral is doing in the community. Yeah, so I was at work the other day. As you know, I work at the University of Florida. I get an email that's sent out to all the employees and it's about carbon neutrality. And I'm interested, of course, because we've been talking to We Are Neutral, we've been working with We Are Neutral, and um, it says that the commuters on campus create over 28,000 tons of carbon emissions every single year. I'm a commuter, I drive to work every single day, and it made me feel really bad about what I am doing to the environment. So I read on to find out that University of Florida is partnering with We Are Neutral to become completely carbon neutral by the year 2025. And uh, they're creating an initiative to help commuters like me uh, be able to offset our carbon emissions by the end of the next couple of years. So I'm personally very excited to be able to do something about my carbon footprint, at least when it comes to me going to work. It's extremely exciting, and um, this is We Are Neutral, this is their slogan, I don't just hug trees, I plant them, and it was really cool because Chris and I actually became advocates for We Are Neutral at Bonnaroo. All these people are walking by, and our mission was to reach as many people as possible, and uh, reach out to them if they would like to see if they would like to offset their personal carbon footprint. So We Are Neutral offsets all of Bonnaroo as an organization's carbon footprint, but this is giving them an opportunity. So basically, we broke it down to a spiel, and we're pretty much salesmen for carbon footprints, so we have a little sample of what that looks like. Hey guys, can I tell you about We Are Neutral? We're an organization that plants trees and retrofits local low-income housing with energy-efficient appliances in order to offset the carbon footprint of Bonnaroo. So today we're offering for you to offset your own personal carbon footprint, and I can get you signed up right back here, and you'll also be entered to win two tickets to Bonnaroo 2016. Is this something you'd be interested in? So one of the really great things was that we went with a super team of people from Gainesville. It was 18 of us total, uh, representing different groups and organizations in Gainesville. Um, There's an artist, Raymond Rawls, designed the big plaster globe that we had all the participants pinning their location on this big earth. Um, we had Gainesville Media, we had Starter Space, uh, Fables Catering and such. Uh, we had Pure Energy Solar. They brought these two big uh, solar po power charging stations where all the Bonnaroo participants were charging like 45 phones at a time, all with solar energy. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really, really amazing experience to share this with, you know, all these, these game changers really and, and to be able to go there and spend four, uh, five grueling hot days, um, you know, feeling like we really made good connections with these people and it was really more than I was expecting when, when uh, I planned on going to a music festival. Huh. And music festivals, they, they've got these stereotypes, right? So The Onion came out with a hilarious article, and it's, uh, and I quote, new music festival, just giant large field for people to do drugs in. <laughs> Sex, drugs, rock and roll, baby. That's what it is. So it, it's, it's got this whole, this whole um, idea and stereotype of what it is, but really, we found that people were so open and receptive to, to more than that. And, uh, and we actually interviewed people to, to get their opinion on that. And we interviewed organizations that were there to uh, spread their message. So really, we found, you know, we're not, we're not trying to over glamorize this festival experience, but we found that people were so willing to learn. And they have all this free time during the day where they're walking around, going to these different organizations, you get into a giant line for the porter potty or the Ferris wheel or you're in a giant crowd for your favorite band and you have kind of no other option but to become friends with the person next to you and it just kind of creates this dialogue where anything can be put on the table. So we um, have a bunch of interviews uh, with 
groups and people of Bonnaroo. So let's check that out. I feel like at festivals like this, no one's if everyone can just be themselves. No one's afraid to be themselves. People here are looking for something different. Uh, they're looking to kind of connect with people around them and the world around them in a different way. Everyone here is like so open-minded and they're so open to doing everything. You know, there's so many cool things you can do here. We all have a voice. We all have something to say. Whatever you're going through, you're not alone. You're always worthy of love. You can definitely feel the love here. You're just surrounded by goodness and positivity and we're not surrounded by a lot of that in our daily life. This made me feel absolutely awesome. And it's infectious. Get out here and enjoy. Bonnaroo! So that's just a taste of the many interviews that we did with attendees and organizations at Bonnaroo. Uh, check out our YouTube channel to see the rest of them. So all in all, I think the thing that I really uh, took away from this was how valuable it was to engage with what's really like the pulse of this generation. And, you know, being, being a business owner, um, I realized how, you know, how much um, society and how much young people are opening up to these new ideas and, and being willing to invest in something that does good. And the fact that we were able to sell nearly $3,000 in carbon offsets to young people who were essentially primarily there to have a party was really, truly remarkable. And so I just, I just kept thinking, you know, next year I got to go back with my business. You know, I got to go back with Gainesville Compost. Brandon's got to go back with self narrate and capture stories. And, you know, it's like, really, I think that if you want to, if you want to know what's going on in the cultural consciousness, like what are young people, um, what, what, how do they see the world right now? You should go to a music festival. And that was like the impression that, that this really left me with. Hey everyone, this is Sammy. For this week in Gainesville, we're at My Yoga Connection. There's an incredible fundraiser going on today, Sunday, June 28th, for the earthquake in Nepal. And we're excited to uh, cover this and see what's going on inside. Let's check it out. We're here at My Yoga Connection with Kara and Elena, and they're gonna tell us a little bit about this event they're holding on this fine Sunday. So, welcome. Uh, we're doing a Yoga for Nepal event that is actually a part of a collective experience. Uh, MC Yogi, he's like this big yoga DJ out there. Um, he wanted yoga studios from all over the place, all over the world, across the country to come together this weekend, on this day, whatever you can fit in, to send some positive love and light to Nepal, no matter what that looks like. Um, so that's what we're doing here today. So we started our day with some yoga. I taught the class and Elena was going around doing awesome assists on everybody and we had some awesome live music, followed by a seated silent meditation that was just so like chilling, goosebumps. And, uh, raising the roof with this amazing kirtan. I can't believe we've never done here before, but what an amazing first kirtan to have. Uh, and then now, you may be able to hear in the background, we've got some music going on inside with the captive Eddie. Everybody has just brought so much love and energy to the space, to the room, to this event. It's been really incredible today. So, um... Can you tell us a little bit about um, kind of what My Yoga Connection is doing now and where you'd uh, like it to go and where you dream and hope it to go? Yeah, I mean, so My Yoga Connection, we want it to be, our vision is that it's more than just a yoga studio, that it's a, a community staple where people can come together, feel welcomed to come feel together, happy. regardless of you know, we say any body and any budget, so... And like any practice, really, we can have to be pretty open. So, um, thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, Kara. Thank you, Elena. Awesome, um, thank you. We really appreciate, um, really appreciate the event and, and the yoga and the intention that you're bringing to the community. Um, feel free to check out My Yoga Connection online and on Facebook. Come by for a class. It's fantastic. Yeah. Namaste. So that's all we got for this episode of Better Me TV. If you enjoyed this, please like and share this video. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 
To sum everything up, we've got a little recap video of Bonnaroo. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. When tens of thousands of strangers come together, do we better ourselves? Do we better our communities? Bonnaroo is more than a massive gathering of people. Humans from all over the world come together to jump up and down to our favorite artists, but there is more that happens. When we spend four intense days together, we realize that we all have the same goals here, to embrace and enjoy the beauty of life. When the whole crowd commits themselves to a state of enjoyment, we are compelled to embrace the unexpected with radiant positivity. We smile at our neighbor, lend a hand because it is needed, not because we expect compensation. The news will tell you that our world today is steeped with dilemmas and crises. But it does not always report on the love, hope, and alternate realities that exist. This gathering allows us to break down ourselves as individuals. The illusion of our separate existence is shattered. When we realize we are simply part of a larger whole, we come to exist on a common plane. A community that shares the same goals. Once we realize that we are not the center of the universe, we can move forward together. Instead of thousands going off in different directions, we become one, creating potential energy that is unstoppable once kinetic. Human beings in the 21st century have all the tools and materials we need to succeed. What we need now in this world is to use what we have effectively to bring everyone on the same plane. We must all become the Galileos of our time, shed light on the undeniable truth that we are all bound to one another. Bring us all to this new paradigm of existence where human beings as a whole come first. Once we can exist on this plane, we can attack the issues that face us on our Earth with a force that knows no barriers. May this narrative act as an anthem, a beacon to bring us together, a reason to take a moment to smile, be grateful of all we have, appreciate the ground on which we stand, and think about life. Before taking another step forward, embrace those who stand among us. Create a unity that is only as strong as its weakest links. If we can realize an existence like this, we can embrace the paradise this life has given us and embark on a shared evolution for the betterment of all. Better Me Productions is a full-service video production company capturing the stories of individuals and organizations working to better themselves and their communities. Visit BetterMeProductions.com to schedule a free consultation about your next video project.